Welcome to this video. Today we are going to discuss about the price list of a product. Why we used to configure and set a price list for any of the product? Because some of our customer is a regular buyer and due to which we are making a huge profit. In order to sell the product to that customer in more reasonable value, we used to set the price list because once the price list has been configured and set in Odo 17, there will be no need of revision of the price again and again. So let's go and check how to configure and set the price list for the sales order. So in the sales module, just go to the configuration and the setting. In the pricing, we can see a price list is coming. Just click enable and click the mul multiple price per product and enable this one also. We can directly go to the price list from here also as well as we have the option from the above menu we can see we are having the price list or option over here also so we will open a price list from here let's see so we can see the price list name discount policy and everything can be seen in the front view of the price list so we will go and create a price list for a product. So I will name this price list as loyal customer and we will choose the currency as USD as if you want to keep this price list for a particular company you can select it from here else you can leave that one. Now add a product. So I will take a product as cabinet. Cabinet with toes. Since I have some variants of cabinet with toes. Uh, okay, it is not there. No issue. So we will put the pricing. Before putting the pricing, let's go and check the original price of the cabinet with toes. So in the product, we can see we are having $140 for this cabinet with toes. The original cost is $140. Keep in mind. Go back to the price list. Mm. Okay. And over here, put the discount and put the value of ten dollar minimum quantity one if it is having variants you can put it is not having any variant for now and just save it so our price list work has been done we have multiple options recurring price you can set the recurring price rental rule for if the product is rental you can put some rules over here and you can also configure it from here but now we are focusing on how to set the price list of the product okay so what we will do we will go to customer and we will check for azure interior and in the sales and purchase tab just go down and choose the price list and select the price list as loyal customer okay and just save it 
again we will open a new tab so that in the end i can show each and everything in details so we will create a sales order so just uh, put the customer name as our interior and i will take as our interior as my customer and in the products i will take it as cabinet with door and we can see the unit price is hundred dollar and in original what we can see is that product if you if you go to the product the sale amount is rupees 140 so 140 is not coming it's coming 100 because in the price list i have mentioned the amount as hundred dollar only you can see here in the price list the value of the product is been discounted that's why in the sales order we can see that uh, amount is coming hundred dollar that is for now i hope the price list concept is clear to you thank you so much for watching this video bye bye like share and subscribe our youtube channel videos and you will be getting a lot and yes don't forget to comment upon these videos because if you comment on these videos this will really going to give us the motivation to upload more and more videos thank you thank you so much stay tuned